So you as a journalist, I mean, this is your business to check your sources. Yeah, exactly. But what, what, what about the 500 million uh, uh, subscribers of Facebook in the world? I mean, do they all do? Or no. isn't it rather... See, uh, as the doctor said, uh, it's uh, not reliable sources, any kind of social networks, okay? Even the, the, the eyewitnesses also, they're not 100% reliable. You have to verify what you receive. That's why the first or the main source for news, for any, uh, I mean, media, it's the correspondence. But how do, you, how do you verify that? I mean, if, if well, you see, exactly. How? Because then we have to contact our offices, our correspondents. Okay? okay. But, but of course, I cannot, now I can put, uh, there is a coup d'etat in, uh, in, in, in Yemen. And I put now the, my status. There's a coup d'etat in Yemen. And then right. you can say this. No, you have to verify. You contact your correspondent. Say, in Facebook, they say that there's a coup d'etat against Al Ali Abdullah Saleh. Is that true? Okay, Simply, so he said, no, this is not true. So well, you, then we ignore it. You receive a message, uh, uh, um, a dispatch from AFP who says there is a coup d'etat in, in, in Yemen. Okay, if you are a very, very responsible journalist, you wait for the confirmation of either Reuters or AP yes. or an, any other reliable news agency. The problem is here, I receive a tweet from someone mm -hmm. and I, ch I wait for the two or three other tweets who confirm it. What I don't know is probably that the guys that are tweeting this, this confirmation have received the, the same tweet I just received. So yeah, they're, they're getting it all from the same simply source. They're getting it all from, from Sandmonkey, for but example. Simply Do you really want to turn this into an old media, new media debate? Because exactly. I, yes, yes, I, I, I will crush that, yes. that stupid go ahead, argument go ahead, right go now. Go ahead. Uh, listen. Uh, what we're dealing with right now is the culture of crowdsourcing, all right? It's the same thing as using open source mm -hmm. to create software. Millions of individuals going in and like using their own knowledge and benefit and whatever to actually make something work. Now, you go, for example, something on Twitter, and I say that there is a demonstration there somewhere. Very easily verifiable. Take picture, post picture, send picture on Twitter. There is a link right mm -hmm. there. Use Bamboozer to like show video. None of this, all of this verification, we cannot verify stuff. It's very easily verified by getting more than one source confirming it. And if we are all using the same source, we just retweet. But whoever actually provides an original tweet, that's the person who actually saw it happen. And that's the kind of trust that you create in the social place. That's the kind of trust that exists when millions of users are experiencing the same event can provide you with different angles for it. And it actually provides a better image and a better any perspective than any other news segment or whatever because at the end of the day it all is, is very linear it's very much let's stick to the facts let's stick to the whatever mm. details or we can create something bigger like for example BBC had a fantastic video like you know on sense of humor in the Egyptian revolution it was 12 minutes long and it was beautiful because it covered all the angles but when it comes on social media you don't go to Facebook to get the news you go to Twitter to get the news you know you go to YouTube to see the video mm. you know you go to Facebook when you want someone to explain to you or give you perspective or even share it with other people but if you're getting, like, it, it becomes weird after a while, mind you, to get, I have people who are telling me, like, I'm their source of news, you know, all the time. Like, if it's not me, like, it's unverifiable. And honestly, if I tweet something I find out is not right, I correct myself very quickly. Mm. We emulate the, the operational system of, you know, mainstream media. And mind you, mainstream media doesn't even correct sometimes, you know, but... At the end of the day, it's all based on verification of multiple sources, and it's all instantaneous. We do not have to wait for the wire to come in. We don't have to wait to write the story. We don't have to wait to mm. create the new segment. We can do it instantaneously. But it depends also on who is behind or who is using the Facebook. Okay, like if Al Arabiya, for example, ha has its own page, of course you will believe it much more and uh, faster than if I am reading any friend's statement or status on Facebook. But the liars are snuffed instantly. I mean, the moment you start spreading lies and innuendos on Twitter, immediately people know who you are and immediately people start retweeting that, by the way, this person is a plant. This You're person blacklisted. Is not. Not by, even by, by the crowd. Yeah, no, because it becomes easy. You basically retweet what they said and you prove that it isn't fact. You know, you tweet what they said and prove it isn't fact. You don't, it's not like witch hunting. So, it's Dr. Mohammed, it, it is it impossible uh, because of that, that, that uh, a dominance of veracity, because there are so many eyes that can, can see if you're lying or not, uh, that uh, dictators or any kind of dark forces can never hijack uh, I would uh, like the social uh, network? I would like first to enhance your interpretation. I agree with you. I, I am for the, the quality of the big mm. media. Social media is not uh, where, I, I, uh, where I get quality information. 
Uh, well, you can't. You can't find uh, quality mm. information on but Facebook. Or, you, if you, you would like, then you go to Al Arabiya or to see. other. Uh, but maybe it's beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? This is beautiful. <laughs> I mean, I think I he, will, he, do, he, want, he doesn't want to. I can take another angle of the discussion about. Okay, we are talking about using these kind of social networks, but also we have to put in mind the abusing of it.